Hey everybody, I'm Jen Foxbot and welcome to MakerQuest. In this episode, we're going to look at an Internet of Things connected industrial scale. So I guess first of all, Internet of Things basically just means that something that uploads data to the Internet. So I initially designed and built this because I was working with a parkour gym in Seattle and we were trying to figure out the forces involved in parkour so that we can make the objects in their gym safer. I wanted to actually measure this because I'm kind of a data nerd and it's always better to have real data. Um, of course, anytime you do problems in a textbook, they give you everything that you need or you can go and look stuff up. But in the real world, sometimes you don't have data. So, all right, let's make our own. Let's gather data from an object that we can build. In this video, I'm really just going to give you an overview on what the system is and how I designed it. So, first of all, here is your base. And what you'll notice is that this is the top plate. It's kind of held in place on the sides by pieces of wood, as well as the clamps. Okay, so let's take off these clamps and see what's inside. All right, cool. So we pull off the top plate. Notice that nothing is holding it uh, down or up, I guess. Um, put that to the side and then we can see oh <laughs> well that's not supposed to do that well then we can see the guts of our scale so this is really uh, what we're interested in these four things here are called load cells load cells are really awesome just be aware that there is a big difference between a load cell and a strain gauge so like i mentioned a load cell is four strain gauges in a wheatstone bridge um, a normal bathroom scale, like this one that I tried to take apart and kind of failed miserably, um, is going to have a strain gauge in the center as well as a bunch of fancy levers and very, very well designed uh, springs and stuff to uh, distribute the weight evenly. All right, cool. So that's the base. Um, now, what is controlling everything? What's actually uploading data to the internet? Well, we can look in our handy dandy electronics case, and since I've lost all of the screws, oh no, I can't quite open that. I've lost all of the screws except one, so that's the only thing holding this box together. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put this in a safe spot, hopefully. And then we can see inside our box, uh, there's two microcontrollers. On the right side, uh, my right, I guess, uh, is the photon microcontroller, which is what is uploading the data to the internet. And on this side is the SparkFun Open Scale, which is a super awesome board designed and made by SparkFun to deal with load cells and strain gauges. Also, what's really awesome is that there is a uh, place where you can power the Open Scale with a battery. So, yay, you can make this all wireless. And if you really want to go uh, crazy, you can make it uh, run off renewable energy too. I'm going to show you really quickly how to power it with a battery. There are a few different ways to do this. Both of these boards are uh, USB, so we need five volts. Um, and uh, fortunately, SparkFun makes a bunch of boards that can help us do this. So this is a board called the Sunny Buddy, and it's meant for photovoltaics or solar panels. Um, but we can use it for this project by just connecting the output of this to the power for our open scale. Woo. All right. Yay. All right, so that little blue light means that the board is on and it's sending out data. Right now it's not going anywhere because the photon's not on. So let's power the photon with the battery also. Woohoo! Yay. All right, so the photon's turning on and let's hope that it connects to the internet. All right, heck yeah. So that pulsing blue light, if you're familiar with the photon, that means that it's connected to the internet. Cool, so that's pretty much it. So check out the tutorial. Again, it's on SparkFun's website, learn.sparkfun.com, and uh, the link is in the video description below. Please let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment, and thank you for watching.